And one CEO took his anti-Trump message to Cleveland during the Republican National Convention. This is the Terminal Tower. Take a look here. It's about half a mile from the convention hall. And that's an excerpt uh, from a letter that reads in part. Let me read it to you part. I'm not sure if you can actually see it because the letters are so tiny there. But it says, uh, Americans are also good and we're generous and courageous and kind. And that is what you've missed. Josh Tetrick wrote that letter. He's a CEO of food tech startup, Hampton Creek. He joins me live now uh, from San Francisco. So you have, Josh, all these CEOs, these billionaires sort of coming out and saying that they're against uh, Donald Trump for X, Y, Z reasons. Do you think it will be effective in the long run? I think it probably will. And before you're a billionaire, and I'm certainly not a billionaire, you're also a human, right? You're a human who respects immigrants. You're a human who respects your mom. You're a human being who says, the KKK in every way doesn't stand for who we are, right? So before you're a billionaire, you're a human, and, and that's why I think this election is really interesting. This is not about a Republican versus a Democrat. Uh -huh. This is about a Democrat versus someone who doesn't express normal, everyday American values, and that's why in the letter I was pretty blunt about it. I think his campaign is explicitly un-American. See, you have a lot of voters who might be watching this show and thinking, listen, well, Donald Trump is a businessman, um, he's a billionaire, he's, for all intents and purposes, quote unquote, a successful businessman. I know that some people disagree with that. But, um, you know, some people think, listen, he must know how to create jobs, he must understand the economy. From your perspective, though, why is that argument flawed? So again, first and foremost, you're a human. If you don't pass the, is this a good human test, you don't get to the next <laughs> test, right? But on to the next test, listen, I, I spent a, a long uh, bit of my life living in areas that are post-conflict. I lived in South Africa. They've been through apartheid. I lived in Liberia. I've been through two wars. Been through two wars. Conflict situations, economic security instability isn't good for economic security. When you have an unstable security environment, when you have the rest of the nations around the world feeling a sense of security unease, a sense of economic unease, that's not good for business. It's not good for job creation. If I'm a company and I'm based in London or I'm a company and I'm based in Mumbai, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking about setting up shop in the United States of America and I feel a sense of unease about the situation here, I'm going to go locate somewhere else. And that's why I think Americans need to step back, pause, and say, is this actually what I want, or do I stand for something else? But Josh, just to play devil's advocate um, for just a second, um, Hillary Clinton, when you look at some of her policies, she has called for tougher regulation on Wall Street. She's also called for uh, increasing taxes as well. Some people might look at that and say, well, you know, that's bad for business too. Well, and I think... People, people can openly, good people can openly de agree, uh, disagree with Hillary, mm -hmm. they can disagree with Donald, but those are policy issues, right? Uh, I wouldn't have openly written the letter when Obama was running against Mitt Romney. I wouldn't have written the Dear Mitt letter. But, but in this instance, I don't think we have a policy issue. We have a, a human issue. But on the policies, listen, I think, I think good people can disagree with it, although I would refer to, you played a clip of Warren Buffett a handful of minutes ago. This is uh, not just a normal billionaire. He's an extraordinary billionaire, not only in terms of his net worth, but also his character. And he's a billionaire who believes we can figure out a way to create millions of jobs. We can figure out a way to help poor kids that might not have, you know, what, what we have. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and that's an inclusive economy. And I think good Republicans stand for that, too. Um, and also good Democrats. Um, so as a businessman, what sort of concerns you the most about a Trump presidency? Is it his policies on free trade? Is it, you know, some of the comments he made a few months ago about refinancing U.S. debt? Um, is it his comments on minimum wage, which a lot of people might not agree with? Yeah. Um, what, what concerns you the most? I think two things. One is, you know, th this is the first company I've ever started, and we're, we're fortunate enough to to be sold everywhere. We, we also have uh, operations in Mexico. We sell products. We sell products in Hong Kong. Um, and if we, don't have, uh, if we don't have a system of free trade, one that respects WTO rules, ones that respects existing rules of NAFTA, well, that hurts our business, right? We export stuff. We import stuff. That's really important. The second thing, though, that's really important, and I've learned this, you know, being a founder, is what happens globally also impacts us. When there are global ep economic events, when there's a Brexit, when there's a terrorist attack, when there's just general instability in this world, that affects our company, it affects our people, it affects our culture, and, and you, you don't want that to be impacted by, by a man who just doesn't share our values. That's not how we build a company, and that's not how I think we help the economy. And just really quickly, um, are you voting for Hillary Clinton? I am. Okay. I, I voted. I, I, I am. I, I, vo I, vote, I, I voted and I've supported Republicans before. And mm -hmm. I, 
you know, I, I, I congratulate uh, Mitt Romney for having the courage to stand up and say this is not who we are. Uh, and for those Republicans listening, including Speaker Ryan, uh, including uh, Leader McConnell, uh, I ask you to take a step back and say, I believe in the principles of the Republican Party, which are good, but I don't believe in the values of this human being. Um, I think that's a really important thing for all leaders of all stripes to do, and, and I hope they take the opportunity to do that today. All right, Josh Tetrick, pleasure talking with you, sir. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Hey, thank